Hello, all you wonderful people. I have a few minutes that I can make a video. So you can see where my class is set. Makes them sore. Well, I was gonna, I just wanted to make a quick video about what my boys learned about friendships when the chips are down. And uh, fortunately, um, uh, for the most part, they learned good things. Um, uh, Randy had a, a wonderful friend, the one that he kind of hangs out with us a lot. And um, when I had to go down and sit with my dad at the last, while we were waiting, uh, I had Randy go over to their house and they were, um, they were, um, Um, sorry, some, uh, my mind just went blank, uh, but they were wonderful and very, um, you know, uh, consoling and, um, just going out of their way with kindness, uh, because of what was going on and kept Randy. Um, when I came back home after, uh, dad had passed away, um, I went over there I was going over there and he figured out that, um, that meant that, uh, he had passed, passed. And, um, so when they were going to go to a party, him and his buddy were going to go to a party. And so after he figured out that, um, his papa had passed, then he decided to, he wanted me to come pick him up so he could go home. And it's probably like seven o'clock in the evening. And so then, um, on, when I went to pick him up and went to the door, um, everybody came to the door and told me how sorry they were. And then the boy that, um, 14 year old boy, 15 now, he had a birthday, uh, boy that, um, runs around with Randy asked if he could come over at nine, which meant he wasn't going to the party either. And I said, sure. And you can spend the night. And he did. He came over and he spent the night. So he stayed with Randy the first night after my dad died um, and kept him company, which, you know, is such a good friend. That's being such a good friend and so supportive. Um, you know, I had all you guys. You were wonderful. Also, Jesse has all you guys because he reads the comments and loves the comments and particularly um, during the last few, uh, he loved the comments because um, you were all showing everybody in the family love and support and hugs and and um, he got a lot of comfort from that as did I, very much so. And family was good and he has a couple of friends that he texts back and forth and they were very supportive of him. Um, seeing how he was doing and telling them how sorry they were for his loss. Um, Aiden found out that um, certain friends are um, there for the hard times and some are not there for the hard times. And you have to come to the realization at some point that if you can't count on a person during the hard times and you can't count on them at all. And, um, that's unfortunate for him, but he did find out who he could count on and who um, who to go to in times of need. Um, and so um, some of those were hard lessons to learn, but they're important lessons to learn. I learned them way later than him when I got sick. And so um, that that's a hard lesson for kids to learn or anybody to learn, but that's just the way the ball bounces. But, um, he's, he's hanging in there. Um, Randy's hanging in, we're all just hanging in there. <laughs> it's just, yeah, truth be known. Um, I'm walking around my head at my butt and, um, it's just, I'm forgetting lots of things. And not all of it's dementia. Some of it's just stress and trying to get things taken care of and too much stuff coming at me at once. And 
it's just it was just too much um but um i'm going to try to get everything taken care of uh we gotta get ready for christmas and so um i'm going to try to start focusing all on that as soon as possible so thank you all for being there when we needed you um and when i needed you i appreciate it you never know who's going to be um sticking around with you and i'm being watched and laughed at because i'm talking to myself but um that's all right um so i uh just want to say thank you and how much i appreciate you so much and so live life to the fullest live life with no regrets and we'll see you next time bye